Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. I think, you guys, this is the, I don't know, what is this, the fourth episode? I want to say this is the fourth episode. I'm probably lying. It's probably more like three. I want to say it's three. Three sounds right. Four sounds better. <laughs> I don't know. But welcome back. I do apologize ahead of time for my neighbor who decided that they wanted to finish mowing. It feels like they've been mowing all day. Really. Okay. So let's get into the thick of things. Now, um, the last time we left off, um, uh, our girl um, was... Well, she suffered a great loss in her family. Um, Arl Howe um, had betrayed her father and her mother, killed them both. Well, actually killed her nephew, her, um, her sister-in-law, her mother's best friend, or I guess a visitor of her mother, and her father. And then her mother decided to stay behind because her father was too um, severely injured to travel. And so... Um, Alaria is, has now been recruited into the Grey Wardens, um, uh, because Duncan, um, said that he would save her life if she, you know, decided to join the Grey Wardens. Now, um, just to, I guess, to cap everything off, she's now at, um, I believe this is Ostergard. Yeah, Ostergard. And this is where the Grey Wardens are encamping along with, um, some other um, people that you'll see and she's been told by Duncan that she you know just to get to know the campsite a little bit look around but don't leave the area so that's what we're going to do we're going to kick it off today by you know just talking to some hey, people you exploring must be the grave warden recruit that Duncan brought. yes I am this place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries I'll wager need a hand getting anywhere um, let's see. Where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Okay. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. I'm going to adjust my mic, guys. This okay. All right. Well, I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Okay. Um, can you tell me about Ostagar? Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Um, let's see, is there anywhere to get supplies? I'm not really sure if I have a lot of money, but we'll still need supplies, so... Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Okay, um, let's see. Where's the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Now, if you guys remember correctly, we did meet the king in the last episode, and he was... It seemed like he wasn't taking this whole situation very seriously. The Darkspawn are upon us, and well, well, they're they're uh, moving in, and he's just not taking it as seriously as he should. Um, he's more or less romanticizing the whole thing. But, anyways, um, the Circle of Magi's here. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk. All cold and even. They're to the north of here bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. And for those of you who are not familiar with Dragon Age, Tranquil Mages um, are people that were once mages, but they are, they were, their powers were taken away from them uh, through a ritual, and basically their powers and all emotion um, was removed. So basically they're almost like the, a shell of their former selves. Um, so they can't defend themselves. They they have no emotion whatsoever. They're very monotone. And you'll see that. You'll see um, Tranquil as we play. Anyway, so um, do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? 
The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Well, ah, uh, do I want to ask him something else? Go on, then. No, I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Okay. All right. I'm not going to read any of the codexes, guys. I may later. I don't know. But we're going to... Um, okay, can't go that way. We are going to do some exploring. This is the Magi encampment. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade? The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. Or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. Um, I'll, I apologize. I'll go elsewhere. Okay, so let us get on with it. Oh. Greetings, young lady. Greetings. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? How'd you He's know not that? a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wee, one of the mages summoned by the king. Um, pleased to meet you. I'm Alaria. I've seen it quite a few mages today. Um, I'm Alaria. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you seems a little more polite. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the king? King Kalen uh, thinks the battle will go well. It's not luck, but skill that will save us. Um, king Kalen thinks the battle will go well. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Sorry, guys, if you hear me moving my mic, or you hear something that's me moving my mic. Um, you've faced the Darkspawn before. Do you know much about the Darkspawn? I shake it going, mm. Do you know much about the Darkspawn? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? I'm going to say that she doesn't. Uh, she's heard about the dog, dark spawn, but, you know, it's it's been like hundreds of years um, since they've had a, any type of, like, um, dark spawn invasion as this large. So, if anything, she's heard legends, but not exactly what has created them or what, um, what the connection is between them and the Fade as... Wynn was trying to say. Okay, so I know the fate is where you go when you dream. What does the fate have to do with anything? I'll say that. I know that the fate is where you go when you Anytime dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the fade lies the black city. Um, what's the Black City? So Darkspawn are just dream spirits? I've heard that. Didn't something bad happen there? Um, what's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Deventer Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth where they became the first darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is that true? I've heard that story before. The Chantry says many things. Um, she's pretty devout, but um, she, does tend, she will question the Chantry when she feels it's necessary. Excuse me. Ooh, yawn. Okay, I've heard that story before. And is that true? Um, I've heard that story before. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Okay, do you have any proper advice? I'll just kill every dark spawn I see. At least it's something to ponder. Uh, don't you have any proper... Okay, that's just rude. Um, at least that's something yes, to ponder. occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Yes, he does. 
Should it find you, you will not have failed your Okay, let's go over here. Go. Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Look at him, trying to get some last minute quality time. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Oh, me and Sir Knight were just betting on what the third recruit would be. Not a woman, yet here you are. The name's Davos. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Um, what do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Um, maybe they will. We'll see. So, what? That wouldn't frighten me? Oh, so what? That wouldn't frighten me. The wilds. Aren't there barbarians in the forest? Um, she would have heard of the wilds. But for the sake of the viewers, Oops. chasing barbarians. I didn't yes. mean that. Cannibals and witches too. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. I doubt they'll send us into pointless danger. Why would they send us into the forest? Why are the wilds so frightening? This seems like an odd place for any army to camp in. Um. Yeah, I doubt they'll send them into pointless danger. Then why do the Grey Wardens only recruit folks who can fight? Or are you their first basket weaver? I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Um, they're forcing you to be here? I wouldn't be here if I did. I'm looking forward to it. I'll watch your back if you watch mine. Um, I would say that she re respond with to his little snarky remark with something snarky as well. Um, they're forcing you to be here. Well, I don't know if that's going to be snarky or not, but that's how I'm going to take it. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay. Um, I need to check my inventory really quick. All right, so I've got a few things here. Um... Okay, so I'm definitely going to keep this shield of high ever because that was, well, so is this. Oh, no, this is a Kusin guard shield. Okay, so I have an iron ring here. There's things I can sell. Um, is this axe better than what I have? No. Okay. Some of these things I want to keep because I'm not sure. Um... Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say that I have, no. What if I have? I need some supplies, actually. Okay, can't say that I have, no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or buy the raker up. No. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Um, do you need help tracking the scroll down? What kind of supplies do you have? Well, I guess. Do you need help tracking the scroll down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. Actually, no, I, I don't. Find it myself. All right. Well, you know, something to do. What kind of supplies do you have? Um, let's see what you have. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, so we actually do need a couple things. These poultices would be nice, but let's see if we can get rid of a few things first. I don't want to get rid of any weapons, and I'm not going to keep this prolonged. Um, I don't remember what I can should keep. Um, some of this stuff we keep, but I know the blank felons we can sell. This I want to put on my... Oh, I guess I can't do that yet. Um, we don't have a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, we could use a couple of these. We don't really have a lot of money. The injury kits, we really don't have money for. Yeah, all this stuff would be nice. And this backpack would be nice. Uh, I don't need this because I'm not going to make traps. I'm trying to think. This small shield I could probably get rid of. Um, 
sell, sell that. That still doesn't give me enough. These shards, I think, are for traps. I'm not really going to be making traps, so I can sell that. Is that enough for backspace? Nope. Anything? Oh, wait. What? Great sword. Oh, okay, two handed. All right. Wait. Um. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps. What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. Mm -hmm. Let's see those other goods you've got. So long as you keep it quiet. All right, so... Um, hmm... He's got a recipe that I... I can't afford any of this stuff. I don't even know why I looked. I could really use that backpack. Uh, can I get in here? Not yet. Oh, silver chalice. Um, oh, here's a tranquil. Welcome, young woman. Who are you? I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Um, you speak very strangely. Why is that? What is an enchantment exactly? Um, hmm. I feel like the second option might be a little rude, but I'm sure she would be curious, so... But, and she would be curious about the enchantment, too. Let's just go with Allow that me first. To put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Uh, the Chantry claims that magic is sinful. Because magic is powerful and dangerous? Not entirely, no. Um, there aren't any mages in her family that I know of, but she does know of the circle. And the circle is where mages are kept. Um because the world deems mages to be dangerous and their magic needs to be controlled so the circle is where they go at a young age or when they first start you know showing that their magic that they have magic they send them to the circle so they can be educated so um but the chantry does say that magic is sinful so yeah. not sinful in and of itself well okay. they claim it leads to sin okay and there is a basis for that argument. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil. Stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Sounds like a horrible practice. Uh, perhaps I should tranquil all mages then. Okay, she wouldn't be that um, prejudiced. How is someone made tranquil? I feel badly for you. Let's talk about something else. Well, she would want to know how they're made tranquil. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Um, I feel badly for you. It sounds like a horde practice. Um, I would think that Alaria would, you know, she, um, I would think that Alaria would recognize, um, or, you know, give, not props, but would be the type of person that, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Basically, when people have abilities, you know, be it physical, you know, they're great warriors or whatever, I think she would have hold those people in high regard and she would feel the same way about mages. This is something that comes to them naturally, just like fighting for her comes it comes to her naturally. So the thought that taking the taking something away from someone that they can't help being, um, uh, it would be horrible would be horrid to her 
And so, yeah, I think she would answer this way. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Because he has no feeling whatsoever. So, yes, of course he would say that. Um, I've, let's talk about something else. Of course. What may I assist you with? Um, what is an enchantment? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Uh, what sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Okay, well, I should go. Goodbye. Goodbye. And there's a treasure chest. That course of action is inadvisable. Okay, well. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to take a quick break, and I will be right back. Okay, welcome back. I had to do, uh, I had to check in some mods really quick, and then I wanted to take a quick break. I uh, ended up installing some mods and then uninstalling some mods because um, I had a retexture for Alistair and I went to just check to see if it worked and he straight up looked like, no kidding, a potato. I've heard people say this before and I was just like, I don't get it. He literally looked like a potato with a body and some arms and legs. It was... Yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and level up Alaria. Uh, we want to add some points into strength because I think we're a little behind on that. And I definitely want to add something to cunning. And I have a sustainability already that I want to pull off to the side. But I definitely need um, some physical damage besides the one I have. And let's go with... Um, Dual, wep dual weapon sweep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get going. Oh, wait. There was one other thing. Um, this here. This is a no helmet rule book. I need this because I'm going to tell you guys. The mage. It's a running joke. For those of you who are not familiar with Dragon Age, the mage helms in this game are. They're awful. They're just. They, they they look terrible, and it's a running joke because of that. They look like, you guys ever seen those, um, oh gosh, what are those hats? Um, I can't think of the people that wear them. Um, it's like on the tip of my tongue. They start with an F, and I can't think of the name of these hats or the people that wear them, but when you see a mage with it on, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so. Let's go talk to Alistair. Hopefully he's normal. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother. Sir Mage, she desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. He looks like Could a potato. I asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. Sorry, what? Uh, you're a very strange man. I know exactly what you mean. That's a terrible thing to say. <clears throat> Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Just trying to find the bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Uh, we haven't met. You must be Alistair. Don't worry, I'm no mage. 
what would make your day worse? Uh, when the, yeah, I can read. Hooks and phonics work for me. Uh, we haven't met yet. You must be Alistair. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Valeria. Uh, I can't prepare on my own. What can you tell me about this joining? Pleased to meet you. My name is Valeria. That's, let's just, let's. Let's act like we uh, were raised, right? Right. That was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Warden. I, wonder I mean, it is true, but... Uh, you want more women in the Wardens, do you? I Probably because we're too smart for you. I can handle myself better than most. How about you stop thinking of me as a woman? Okay, well, I don't necessarily want that, but probably because we're too smart for you... Uh, I can handle myself better than most. Um, she may have been a little miffed by what he said, but I think she knows that he's a jokester just by watching him interact with the mage. Um, I'll go with one. You want more women in the wardens, do you? Would that be so terrible? Not that I'm some drooling lecher or anything. Please stop looking at me like that. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Uh, have you? Well, I fought my first one. I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Uh, that argument, I saw, uh, what was that about? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have to accompany me, do you? Uh, what other, what about the other recruits? I look forward to traveling with you. Um... Yeah, that argument I saw, what was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chancery doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Uh, goodness, excuse me, guys. I have yawns. Um, that would be awkward. You were a mage hunter? What's a Templar? She knows what a Templar is. Does she? Would she know? No mages in her... Well, she would know, because she is devout. She understands what the Chantry is about. She would know about Templars. Um, she wouldn't exactly know what they did, per se. Um... So maybe she would ask this. Well, what is a Templar? In the sense that, what's a Templar's duties? You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Okay, that's yawn again. Sorry. Uh, well, you don't have to accompany me. Okay, what about the other recruits? Davis and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? I've met Davis. Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. I'm not sure what Duncan sees in them. Uh, yeah, me Keep either. an eye out. Maybe we'll see the other one. Or I can track him down later. Uh, let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, when you're not controlling them... Oh, tutorial. Party members and tactics. When you're not controlling them, party members act according to tactics you set. Select Alistair by left-clicking... Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. So now open the tactics the tactic screen. So we can customize his tactics here. Um, I guess what I will have him do is set the um, his health as far as like if his health is low, I want him to be able to drink a poultice. So if he's less than um, I want to see if he's less than half. He should probably drink something, so use a, the most. Let's go with the least powerful right now and save. Well, okay, so they want me to customize. He's going to be a defender. 
since he is a, um, oh, well, I just completely took that from me. Well, whatever. He is a tank, so we're going to leave him as a yeah. defender. Uh, I have a few questions for you. What about? Um, the Grey Wardens, I guess. I so I imagine. What would you like to know? Um, what makes you all so special? The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. We'll see. Trust me. So they're knights? Heroes? I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme killing. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Um, where are all the Grey Wardens now? Yeah, the camp looks a little empty of Grey Wardens. The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the Vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kalen is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. Um, so the Grey Wardens have the right to recruit anyone? King Marrick, Kalen's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blight. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to know for now. You want to ask me about something else? Um, tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? Um, he seems like a kind man, if firm. I can't say I care for him much. I owe him as well. He saved me. I will say that. She, uh, he, she owes him. That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. Do you want to ask me about something else? Um, I guess this joining ritual, if she can, if he can. I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. Do you want to ask me about something else? Um, this blight Duncan mentioned? Of course. Um, so what is a blight? Where do dark spawns come from? Do you want the Chantry version or the truth? Oh, um... Give me the truth, then. The truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground. And that's as far as we've gotten. Okay, so... Um... Let's keep it... You want to ask me about something else? I have no more questions. Then let's get a move on. Well, we'll, have, we? we'll have plenty of time to talk later. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got some runes and a helm. Actually, I could probably equip that helm now. Uh, oh, see what I'm saying? Look at these helms. Um, I think... Oh, okay, this is actually better than what I have on. These are the same boots. Same gloves. All right. Wait. I thought... Can't I go this way? Uh, I guess not. All right. I thought I saw a chest, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, here it is. It's a bow. Actually, I'm not even sure what he has. Um... Let's go up here. Um. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Here's the other guy. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Um, I am. Who are you? Or yes, I am Alaria. Sir is my name. I hailed from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arlaine. I was not aware they permitted women to join the Grey Wardens. None of those I've seen thus far have been. 
Uh, I'd rather not talk about that. I can handle myself. Perhaps they save the best for last. Is that a problem with you? I can handle myself. You obviously impressed Duncan, and that's enough for me. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the warden. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Um, aren't you nervous about finding Darkspawn? I wouldn't be here if I had a choice in the matter. Yes, I'm look, looking forward to it. You're not all that smart, are you? Okay, that's, that's rude. Um, let's see. I'm curious about the joining ritual. Am I? Has anyone told you about it? Absolutely not. Only that it's dangerous. It's all a big secret, apparently. It's all a big secret. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. All right. Um. Okay, let's talk to this. Oh, oh it's chest. I'll get on it. Chain mail. All right, let's talk to this dude. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. I. Uh, no, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up, and I'm starving. Um, why would I want to help you? Tell me why you're in here first. I'll I'll see what I can do. Yeah, no. Tell me why you're in here first, because you're in there for a reason. I'm a deserter, or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Um, did you desert? And I bet you're as innocent as the sunrise. They certainly are. Well, did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Um, it matters for me if your cause is just. I'll see what I can do. If you were deserting, why sneak around the camp? You weren't deserting. Why haven't they fed you? Okay, yeah, but if you weren't deserting, why were you sneaking around? Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. Oh. Okay, well, I'll, t I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Yeah, I could definitely use the access to that chest. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Um, who is this prisoner exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Well, why did he want to desert? Actually, no. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He claims he wasn't deserting. He asked for some food and water. Um, he Well, first things first, he claimed he wasn't deserting. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Well, he asked for some food and water. Sure. You've got better things to do than speaking to prisoners, I hope. Uh. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. So, you're not going to give me some food and water? Silly now. Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Okay, well, so if you miss one meal, this man could be hanged soon. I don't have any silver to give this guy, but I'm going to try to persuade him. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Thank you very much. So I get that key. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Yeah, uh, give him the food here. Here's some Much food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. 
He's in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from, let's hope we're not the only ones in good health. I was about to say, I don't even want to know where that key came from because he only has on his, his, uh, his drawers and, uh-huh. Calm down. You're safe now. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the dark storm blood. Okay, well, okay, I'll just head on out. Can I go and get... Can I open this chest now? That course of okay. Is in the dark. All right, um, I guess I can't. Just going to search a little bit. What is that? Okay, I know there's some good stuff up here somewhere. Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a dark storm. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. You stick them with your sword and arms, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even try. This is just too hard to get through. Okay. Um. Oh. I feel like I don't want to interrupt her. You can get off my back. Is she like? I shall not be left. Yeah, I don't. It's probably rude that I even went over there to talk to her. She's in the middle of praying. Okay, so I am going to head over to. Uh, can I talk to him? There are lots of dogs nope. here, different kinds. You're getting a report of one of these men alive. Is that it? Do we have anything else? Any more? Okay, that's it. Um, I kind of want to just go ahead and head out because we've done quite a bit of talking already and we can do more when we get back. What's going on with Duncan? Duncan has on no clothes, y'all. What? Okay, that must be a mod. <laughs> Assume you're ready to begin preparation. Assuming oh the my is quite gosh. Up mages, Alistair. What can I tell you? The revered mother Anne Bushman. The way she wields guilt makes her stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. Awkward. Right, I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of Darkstorm blood, one for each recruit. This is so awkward. <laughs> I can't even take you seriously. Just a moment. That's the garage door. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to wait till the garage door finished opening and closing because you can hear it. It's so loud. I hate having the garage underneath the house. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to the line of questioning. Um, so where do we leave off? Oh, we were asking about the tasks. What is the second task, Duncan? Yes. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Okay, well, so find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. What kind of scrolls are these? And what if they're no longer there? Yeah, what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. I mean, Duncan's pretty fit for his age. I mean, anyways. Um, all right, so find the archive and the three vials of blood. Understood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to, to either remove that mod or fix it. Because, uh, yeah. 
there any more? Okay, it's Alfred over here. Okay. Let's head out into the Cockery Wilds. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. All right. I mean, this is pretty spooky. I feel like. Oh. Right. I felt like that was extremely loud. Like, really loud. At least it was for me. Because I know I keep asking this, but please let me know if at any point um, the music is too loud or the game is just too loud in general. Because um, it's loud to me. And that could just be because I uh, have headphones on. Okay. So we have a body over here. We're going to search with a letter and we're going to look at this. Can we look at this? Okay. So this is a letter to Jogby. This is actually a quest. My dearest son, it pleases me that you wish to follow my footsteps and bring the maker's word to the unenlightened. I wish you had chosen a less dangerous place to do so. Apologies for leaving early for the wild son, but I wanted to set up camp and get things started. The chastened respect one with survival skills in the wild, so I hope to get a grip on that before you arrive and maybe establish an agreement with the local tribe so that we had friends when you came. When you reach the wild, you'll find it difficult to navigate. I've listed, listed certain landmarks below. If you follow them, they will lead you to a location I've scouted out where I left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I'll find you. The landmarks are as follows. Beginning at the entrance to the wilds from Ostagar, look for a tree leaning on a ruined bu uh, building. Pass under a fallen tree bridge. Pass a submerged tower on the right. Look, look between a high and ruined arch and a mossy stand standing stone. Walk along a path of roots and stones. Look for two large statues with, the, with a chest between them. There you will find our meeting point. I love you, Jogby, my son. I hope to see you soon. Your father, Rigby. Okay, so we got some goodies to look for. And we're going to head over here because we have a, a dying soldier. What in the... Oh, that's an ox. Okay. Just got to stand on top of him. Who is that? Grey Wardens. Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. He looks in bad shape. I mean, look at all the blood. Uh, let's try to bandage him up at least. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Let's try to bandage him up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh, that was ominous. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the horde. How do you know? I I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Yeah, I can't, but you're starting to sound like one right now. Overcoming these dangers is a part of our test. We're far from helpless here. We'll be fine. You sound like a coward to me. She knows this is a test. Um, It is dangerous, but I think she knows that they'll be fine. There's a group of four of them. They're out here with an experience. Well, 
way more experienced uh, Grey Warden than they are. Um, but she, I'm going to say this, that overcoming these dangers are uh, part true. of her test. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. <laughs> that is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. All right, let's head out. Um, oops. Okay. Pickety flower. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master Ostagar was asking about those. Uh, why did he want them, do you know? The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it, is all. Okay, let me grab that. And we're going to go over here. Uh, we have... Oh, those are dark spawn over there. Just chilling. Okay, uh, wait a minute. Where are they at? Oh, wait. Are they over here? Right. Okay, so they're not going to move. Shoot. Okay, so we're going to have to go over here and fight these guys because are they going to move? I suppose not. We're just going to have to bring them over here. There we go. Okay, that was it. Okay, that was it. That was fairly easy. Okay, so we got one vial of dark spawn blood. I'm going to go over here. Um, I don't think there's anything to pick. But there are a crap ton of dark spawn over here. Um, I'll get on it. Okay, there is an archer. I'm gonna go for the archer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Alistair. Oh, shoot. I didn't put any pots on his. He's not taking his pots like he's supposed to. Oh, they sound terrible. Okay, where am I at? Am I going to res? Okay, there I go. All right. I died it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to put uh, some poultices mm -hmm. on. I did that already. But I wonder why. Oh, that's right. Um, they took that off. Shoot. So I'm going to have to watch his health. All right. All right. To watch everybody's you health. Lover, you can get off my back. Don't have to be snippy. Alright, here's a chest over here. And oh, wait a minute. What was that? Oh, wait a minute. Rigby's. Oh, what was this? I'm not going to look at cod codices, but I just want to make sure. Oh, there's a quest. Shine of the Chase. Shine of the Jason. Um, sign of the chastened, or yeah. So. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this elf fruit. I think I can grab it before we get, get into combat. Is it time to kill something?
Oh, goodness gracious. My dog is dead. <laughs> Honestly, I could, I could probably turn the the music down just a bit, just a tad. Where are we at? Audio, um, dialogue maybe. The music is a little loud. Um, okay. I guess the dialogue's okay, but anyways, um, our dog, oh, he rezzed, okay. Do we have any bodies to loot? I think that's it. Um, there was a, oh, here's the fallen tree. Is this a tree art? Yeah. That was one of the clues. Uh, oh. Oh, they sound horrible. When you hear that sound, that means there's some rogues. Okay, so. Good. We got some poultices. Actually, let's see. This is health, and this is lesser health. Okay. All right. Wait. It was cross under this bridge, right? And the fallen bridge. And then there was a sunken tower. Okay. And then, was this the, this is the bridge, or the path. Um, Alistair, you go first. Uh, Alistair's stuck. Oh, I forgot you can't jump in this dang game. Got a man down situation. I don't think I have. I have a debuff, don't I? Open wound. Okay, I don't have any injury kits, so I'm in trouble. I, yep, I don't have any. He's got, what's he got going on? He's got a cracked skull. Beautiful. And we still got a long way to go. All right, so here is the iron chest, a letter, and ooh, a chastened blade. Two-handed, requires 20 strength. I wonder if I can give that to Alistair. I do have a two-handed blade. I didn't even check their gear. Let me do that. Um, what was that letter? Quest completed. Uh, you discovered Rigby's meeting point and found a note in a small cache of goods, but no sign of Rigby. He's probably dead. I would assume so with all these dark spawn. Let me just check everybody's gear really quickly and I'll be back. I did go ahead and check everyone's gear and uh, upgraded a couple pieces on, um, I think, Jury? What's his name? What's his name? What's this guy's name? What's his name? Jory. I did give him a, a, a sword I had in my itinerary, or itinerary, my inventory. I'm going backwards, but I do see elf fruit over here, and I do know that it is valuable. Okay, so I think we actually want to get over there, but I believe we have to go around to get there. Pretty sure we do. Yeah. All right, so 
All right, that is a warning. When the game saves, we all know something is about to go down. All right. Um, first of all, Alistair, let me look at what you got going on. Shield bash, um, shield pummel, shield cover. Okay, we're going to have to do some some tactical maneuvers here. Okay, I want to put Alistair in, but I know for a fact... There is a trap up here, and I don't want everybody hitting that trap. Okay. The dog's gonna go. The dog's gonna go. Oh, shoot. That is not good. That is not good. We are already starting off in a bad spot, guys. This is not good. It's going to be another man down situation here. And that mage is kicking, but oh, they're all there. Dang it. I can't. I can't d disarm these traps. Come on, Sir Jory. Gotta watch everybody's health. Okay. Did we get the mage? I think the mage went down pretty quickly. But he is a pain in the butt. Okay, so... That was kind of painless, but... Uh, oh. Who is that? Kind of feel bad about... Who is he? Prince of Ashes? Pinch... Pinch of Ashes. Prince. Okay, you guys, I can read. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> um, okay, we do need some health poultices, so please be generous to me. Um, oh, let's go ahead and disarm these because we get health points or HP, XP. We get experience points for the uh, disarming traps. Okay, and yeah, let's go this way. I want to save this really quick. Okay, can I F5 and save? Yeah, okay. All right. Um... I'm going to need uh, an injury kit, like, right, ASAP, okay. because I'm I, when you're injured, uh, you take more damage. And uh, there's two of us that have injuries, I think. Yeah. So we are hurting the party. Yes, we are. Okay, I can go this way. Wait a minute. Did I come this? I can go this way. Can I go this way? What is over here? Actually, let's go this way because there was the thing over here, whatever that thing was. Or can we come up this way from another way? I don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember now. Ooh, do I want to do this? I mean, yeah, let's do it. This is, um, this might hurt. Okay, so sprinkle more ash in the pile of stones or leave the stones alone. We're going to sprinkle ash. Yep. And this creepy thing. We are going to die. We are going to die. Do I have my... I don't. You're going to die. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. I have no pots left. 
Okay, so what did he give me? Some boots for mages. I don't have a mage in my party yet. Okay. Actually, Sir Jury, do we have? We have... Ooh, we don't have a lot of health poultices left, and we still got a little ways to go. Great. The dog leveled. Can I... I don't have any level... Okay, I don't have any points to give him. This is not good. This is not good at all. I have two health poultices left. Um, yeah. Game saved again. Let me just save it one more time. Um... I feel like we skipped some parts. I really do. I feel like I missed a spot somewhere. Actually, I need to go after the archer. Over here. That shield bash. Okay. All right. Awesome. We got some arrows for whoever uses arrows. And can we get some health poultices? Can we can we do that? Can you give me some of that? Please have something. You have larium. I don't need that. I will take the death root though. Um, beautiful. So I am down to two. I think that's that's it, though. So I don't have to worry about it. It is what it is. And there's a cash. Well, well. Well, well. What have we here? I don't know. Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Uh, I'm neither. The Grey Wards once owned this tower, Intruder, and I just... and <laughs> Intruder? And just how are these your wilds? Uh, I would first know who you are and where you come from. Where did you come from? Stay back. Um, I would say I'm neither. The Grey Wardens once owned this tower. I keep bumping the, the table. No longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered? Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping on bears. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the Wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Uh, let's see. You can call me Alaria. I promise you will harm us. I'm Alaria. Pleasure to meet you. Forget it. You're f you first. Um... Some kind of decorum, Valeria. Let's let's be let's let's be polite. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest, something that is here no longer. Here no longer. You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. In 
invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Then who removed them? Tell us at once or face the consequences. She's toying with us. Let's go. Uh, then who removed them? Twas my mother, in fact. Can you take us to her? Mm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then that, frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. I mean, they're punks. Jury and Sir Dava. They are punks. Alaria. Oops. Mother, I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dara. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what are you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? Well, I'm no fool if that's what you're asking. I'm not sure what to believe. I believe you're crazy and possibly dangerous. I'm not sure what to believe. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this is a dreaded witch of the wild. Witch of the wild, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> we did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True. They came for their treatise, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this slight threat is greater than they realize. Uh, thank you for returning them. What do you mean the threat is greater than they realize? How do you know all this? I'm sure they're eager to act on your advice. Um, I will ask her, uh, what do you mean the threat is greater than they realize? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Well, that was interesting, to say the least. I think I was going to say, Alaria weighs a buck oh five, and Sir uh, Jory and Sir Davith are scarier than she is. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, and I will be right back.